Hey loves, this is Jay here and I am back with your May energy forecast for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. And if it does not resonate, be sure to check your Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. So let's hop right into some meditative insights that I received for you, Gemini, okay? I'm looking down because I wrote them down so I won't forget, okay? So I feel like I am... Um, I picked up an energy of you or seeing you guys, some of you, one of you, I don't know, scoping out something and it, it almost like scoping out properties. So some of you are thinking about moving or um, something of that nature, moving or changing something or um, just purchasing more property. That That's also an option as well. I, I'm also feeling that you'll receive some sort of recognition this this month as well. Whether that is in the work environment, whether that is in your home environment, from your partner, from your children, there is some sort of recognition, recognition something that you need to make you feel uplifted. Um, Spirit is saying that you need, to, there's something that you need to know. And it feels like this message is going to come from a woman. And I don't know if this woman is someone that is in your life or a random person, but I'm hearing that this message comes from a woman, something that you need to know, okay? And and maybe this ties into the energy of me feeling a grandmother, um, a grandmother who's already transitioned, that is around, um, around you, that's trying to get your attention to give you signs. Um, you're needing to tune in to hear these signs. Uh, maybe this uh, message comes through someone else, um, something that this grandmother is trying to tell you. Okay, so I feel that it's a very beautiful energy. I, I'm not going to say that this is, um, <clears throat> that there is danger involved, uh, um, that this is the dangerous situation is, as to why your grandmother is trying to get your attention, but there is something that you need to know that um, is going to be coming towards you this month here. I also see um, you may be looking for a new job or career, or you may just be changing jobs or careers or possibly adding on to your already you know, busy schedule of you know carrying multiple jobs. So there is something new that you are thinking about, change new or changing or both, okay, when it comes to your job or your career here. And then the last message that I uh, picked up was I do feel like there's a new friendship that some of you may be coming into or developing a friendship with someone, male or female, does not matter, but there is a new friendship on the horizon for you. And that's a beautiful thing. And maybe this message comes from this new friendship for you. All right. So those are the messages that are the insights that I got for you. Um, Gemini, let's hop into some angel messages, see what your guides and angels are saying for you, to you, for the month of May here. All right. Oh, well, let's see. Do I'm going to take these cards, creativity and compassion. I'm going to put these back, but about you being empathetic, being in a place of acceptance and being gentle, that creative energy coming up as well, using your imagination, being able to express yourself, your originality, your passions. I'm going to put those back in. Um, and see what else comes up for you. The action card and the passion card. All right. Action and passion are your two messages from the angels here. Okay. So this uh, energy is about you working with your root chakra and your heart chakra this month here. Some of you are thinking of or need to take dance. I'm feeling some of you need to move, just move your body here, Gemini, to, you know, you're stagnant. And I feel like there needs some, the energy needs to, to flow through you. I do feel also there's an energy of uh, perseverance, perseverance, you overcoming something, you finding discipline in something. Maybe some of you are needing um, some self-discipline on a daily basis that could pertain to developing a, a workout regimen of some sort. Even if that's just going for a walk, even if that's just stretching, there needs to be some movement. You need to find some sort of motivation because it feels like there's an energy of a stagnation that it feels like. 
a physical stagnation and an environmental stagnation for some of you. You may even be um, seeing that stagnation show up in your finances um, as well as um, your work environments, your mental capacity um, of just feeling like you're stuck in something here with this number three, uh, the action card number three, which is an energy of creativity. I'm also feeling an energy of courage. This passion here, breaking down to a number seven, a very spiritual number here, I feel like an, an energy of you becoming aware about aware of what you're passionate about this month. You have desires that you have not fulfilled or you don't want to fulfill. You're scared to fulfill. Something is going on here, Gemini, but there is a desire. There are the desires that you have that need to be acted upon. This is also a month about you finding joy and fun and happiness and being fulfilled this month. So this could also pertain to, you know, allowing your spirit to move here. They're both like dancing energy. So maybe dancing this month or finding some sort of uh, routine that's going to allow you to just allow this energy to flow. Some of you have been stressed. Some of you have been thinking about a lot. Some of you have been overwhelmed and there needs to be an outlet is what I'm hearing. Okay, so an outlet is going to be the most important thing for you this month but that outlet needs to be with um needs to be you moving your body in some sort of way when you move your body you allow your spirit to move your spirit continues to move obviously it's it's energy and energy is constantly moving but i i feel like you uh, let me just let me rephrase that your spirit moves your body moves okay so if you have been feeling stuck in your spirit this could be why you're feeling stagnant physically and in other areas of your life here. Okay, so movement is going to be the uh, biggest thing for you here this month of May, uh, Gemini. Okay, let's see what else is coming up for you. I'm hearing to be patient. Some of you have been in patterns. Maybe this is a pattern of starting something and not finishing it is what I'm hearing. Starting something and not finishing it. This is a month to finish it or to start something and, you know, and finish it. This could be a new process for you, creating a new habit. It's time to release negativity, which is a card that um, Aries pulled as well. Time to release negativity. Actually, I think it was Taurus. Taurus pulled this card. It's, um, it's time to release negativity. What do you need to release is a great question. Okay, you've been holding on to something. Some of you have just been in a place of just sort of existing, okay, existing in something and not fully living out your passions and desires. You have been um, non-active and it's need, you need to, to bring some, like I said, movement, bring some motivation to your life here during this month of May. If you have yet to do that, it is time to step your game up, okay, is what I'm hearing here, Gemini. Let's see what your overall energy is going to be for the month of May here. I do feel like it is a month of awareness, um, of a month of creativity, you having fun, fulfilling desires, being in joy and happiness, and finding discipline as well. Your overall energy for May, let's see what's coming out for you. We have the Knight of Cups here. We have the Ace of Swords reversed. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. So water energy. Also that fire energy here. We also have air energy, which is your energy. That Ace of Swords there reversed is your energy. Uh, someone could be coming in, water sign could be coming in with a, a message, and maybe this is what I said earlier, there could be a woman, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone giving you a message um, um, that sort of changes things for you, maybe changes the traje traje <laughs> trajectory of your life, um, or just it, it changes the way that you think, the way that you feel. Maybe it's a compliment. Maybe it's a compliment you've been needing. Maybe it's because you haven't been recognized. And I remember I also said in your insights that you'll be recognized by a partner, a family member, a boss, or someone. But I feel like there's some sort of recognition that you're needing in, in, over, in order to overcome 
uh, something, in order to persevere through something. So there's a lot of watery energy here where I feel like someone, like a water sign, comes in and just kind of fills you up, okay, in this way, and makes you feel really good about yourself. This could also be just... Um, um, you tuning in to your spirit body and hearing the messages that spirit has to say. But I do feel like this is um, uh, an energy of fulfillment here as I'm looking at all of this energy here. So I feel like there is um, a happiness that you're overcome with. I feel like some of you have been missing something. There's been a missing piece in your life, a missing piece in your relationship. There's been a missing piece that you've been needing in order to, um, it's like a spark that you that you need in, in order to move forward and I do feel like someone comes in and, and gives you what it is that you're needing and, and maybe this is just you hearing the messages and the signs that spirit's giving you with this ace of swords here reversed um, <clears throat> I do feel like it changes things for you here I feel like there's also something that you don't tell the person that you need it I feel like it's you kind of, it's almost like you're very nonchalant in the way, like, uh, you come off as, like, oh, yeah, like, I already know, but you, you really, really needed to hear that um, <clears throat> from someone. So I do feel like it is a message of rec a message of recognition or makes you recognize something about yourself. And I do feel like it is, it sparks something else. It, it sparks a curiosity in you. I do feel like it's um, a youthful energy. So maybe this could be a child. This could be a little girl or this, you know, just a random person on the street. But I do feel like someone sees something in you, Gemini, um, that just, sort of takes you to another level and takes you to this place of happiness and peace and, you know, feeling like you're in the flow because you have been feeling stuck, okay? So let's see um, what obstacles might lie ahead for you this month. We have the Six of Swords, your energy here. We have the High Priestess. Virgo Pisces energy. And then we have the Fool cards. We have two major arcanas, the High Priestess and the Fool. Okay. So obstacles that may lie ahead uh, this month of you having a hard time leaving something or believing something. Um, there's something that's within you that you want to do. Gemini that you're hesitant on because it may affect something else, another part of your life, whether that is your family dynamics, it may affect your, your work environment. Um, but it feels like there is this something that you feel that will fulfill you, but you're not making the move on it. Okay. That's what it feels like. You like, I feel like you want to do it. You think about it. You think about taking this leap of faith. Like usually this six of sore energy here is telling me like, you're like, you're moving towards something. I feel like you're thinking about it and I feel like you want to do it, but the obstacle is you taking the action. But remember spirit is saying to take the action this month. Okay. So this month is all about action. April was all about action. So some of you may have already stepped into this energy last month. But I do feel like it's a very strong thought, very strong possibility that you're going to move into it. But it feels like it's an obstacle because you're not quite sure if you should take the leap of faith. Okay, so whatever that leap of faith is, I do feel like you're hesitant about it. And you know the truth with this high priestess here, okay? You know exactly what what it feels like. I feel like you've envisioned this, whatever this is that you have been wanting to leave behind or move towards. You've been envisioning this. You can see this. You can feel it. You can taste it. Almost touch it. But you're not touching it because you're afraid of something. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card on this. Feel like you want to take your family somewhere. Or... The hangman, another major here. You're definitely hesitant. You're definitely hesitant. You're definitely stepping back and just trying to weigh out all the options about something. So 
Um, the question is, how long How long are you going to wait? And the other question is, Spirit says, what do you need to release in order to get to this point? What do you need to release in order to get here? So that is the question. That obstacle is, what do you need to release? Because, <coughs> excuse me, it feels like you've been, <coughs> excuse me, contemplating something um, here, Gemini, and you just you haven't quite made the move on it because of fear. Okay, so that's an obstacle that may arise for you during this month. Let's see where you're headed. Hopefully you're headed towards whatever this is that you've been thinking about. <clears throat> so we have the Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Wands energy here. Definitely feel like you have been battling something or someone, multiple people, and you're just people may have turned their back on you. I do feel like um, this could be a relationship, the Ace of <clears throat> that Ace of Cups in the center of that. And I feel like you're waiting for something. Maybe some of you are waiting for an apology. You're waiting for someone else to come in and save you. I don't know what this is that you're waiting for here. Let me pull another card. I feel like some of you are just stuck and don't know what to do in a situation. <clears throat> the moon card, you definitely have been emotional in your feelings about things. Some of you have been fantasizing about other people, other not fantasizing about things. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like you're you're waiting for something. You're waiting to make a move. That's what it feels like. Some of you are waiting to make a move <clears throat> on someone. You're waiting to make a move to leave something behind. Because I do feel like there is, um, you know, maybe on um, different pages, like people are turning them, their backs, whether this is friendships, people are turning their backs on you or relationships, someone is turning their back on you. This could be career. However, this shows up for you, there is um, something that feels uh, overwhelming and you're just waiting for a way out. So I feel like it feels like it's still up in the air here, Gemini, like you're not you're still not sure, like you have these grand ideas and but you're not making an action you're not taking the action so it's what do you need to release in order to have this so i do feel like some of you are headed towards this um, this energy of battling feeling overwhelmed in a relationship waiting for something else to come in fantasizing about things but not quite making the move that's what it feels like keep coming back to not making the move and the reason why is because you are stagnant right this action car is still speaking to me because movement needs to happen you need to find some sort of motivation to make this happen so whatever this is <clears throat> i don't know how this is showing up for you gemini but that's where you're headed is just um it, it definitely does feel like an emotional thing for you um but spirit is saying to take the action so maybe that action does come into play this month where you actually do create movement around whatever this is that you've been needing to get out of whatever you've been needing to release walk away from um walk towards to it is you know building up the courage to step into that let's see what is coming towards you this month <laughs> I feel like sometimes um, there is this other side of you that is hidden that you don't talk about and possibly you don't talk about it with a partner. You don't talk about it to other people in general. And I feel like for some of you, it may be eating at you. That's what it feels like. But I do feel like there needs to like because you've been stuck, you've just been kind of sitting in it and like suppressing your desires and not being fulfilled in the way that you've been wanting to be fulfilled or the way that you feel that you deserve to be fulfilled here, Gemini, I do feel like it begins to just, you know, <clears throat> you begin to express that emotion outwardly. And, and I, like I said, there needs to be some sort of movement. Also making sure that you stay disciplined around some of the behaviors because there is this rebel energy that could come out because you have been suppressing something. And when you feel like you can't do something, you want to be a rebel, or you just continue to push it down and just things begin to get really chaotic in your life, okay, in your mental. So um, let's, yeah, let's get back to what you're, uh, what's coming towards you here. Let's get one more card here, the justice energy. We have the page of swords. 
the two of wands and the justice so your energy fire energy libra energy <clears throat> I feel like there could be a person, um, a very youthful person, um, that may come into your life. I don't know if this is an, an interference for some of you that may be in a relationship here with this Page of Swords. Someone that you may be seeking uh, or you're open to exploring something with this person here. Um, justice card makes me feel like it's not, ju it isn't just. <laughs> I'm going to pull a couple more cards. I'm like, it isn't a fair situation as if this is something that you need to create discipline around. Basically what I'm trying to say, like, you know, this could be a, you know, someone stepping out on a relationship, um, stepping out on their family in the way the 10 of Pentacles and then the Knight of Swords energy is here. So this energy could come in fast and I feel like you can make the decision to change the dynamics of your family environment here by making this decision to um, explore this person. Mm. So <clears throat> you're going to not only have to <laughs> create discipline around temptation, um, you're going to have to fight people off, <laughs> fight people off for you here, Gemini. Okay, so I, I, I definitely feel like um, creating discipline around temptation um, so that things do not interfere with your family dynamic, okay? Also, maybe this page of swords energy as well could be that person that could be coming in to, to tell you something and maybe this just changes your life. Like I said earlier, it changes your life and it like what you thought you wanted you don't want anymore you don't want the family the house the kids the dog the american dream that you want to do something else you have desires that need to be fulfilled so there are some things that are going to be changing here um, as other people into your life here gemini and it's not that they're in it in, and in influence on you it's just that they're revealing to you to, to you your suppressed desires and the suppressed joy and the things that you want to be fulfilled by they're they're magnifying that and so i feel like you have no choice <laughs> but to want to step into fulfilling those desires here okay so let's see what's happening around you this month besides people coming into your space and revealing to you what you already know about you what else is happening around you here we have the queen of wands energy fire energy here Ace of Pentacles, which is a card Taurus just pulled as well. The Hierophant Taurus just pulled as well. Interesting. Uh, you guys might want to check that Taurus reading out too. Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant there. Major Arcana, that Hierophant energy. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm hearing that you can... Something can benefit you financially by exploring creativity, by, <laughs> I just heard madam, okay, so some of you are into that as well, and you, you know, can make money from, you know, being a madam, um, you know, do whatever floats your boat, okay, there is OnlyFans, you can start an OnlyFans page if you want, <laughs> um, that's an option, but um, I'm feeling like a, a, a just a, a deep desire and passion to do something that um, you've been wanting to do that some of you have been putting off. But I feel like you have to, it's almost like you have to get an okay to make sure it's, it's, it's okay with everyone else around you. That's what I'm, the energy that I'm feeling because you have not done anything for yourself. You've been so about You've been so focused, whether it's been family, whether it's been work, and you want to do something different. And it's almost like, is that going to be okay with everyone else? Maybe it may take time away from what you've already been doing and what is already expected of you here, Gem Gemini. So I do feel like it's something that you maybe you have to run by a partner if you are in a relationship here. Um, but I, I, do, I do feel like um, this Hierophant energy is like a, it's also bringing me back to this very deep-rooted conscious energy of like, you know that this is 
fulfilling for you and you've been putting it off and in spirit again is just throwing in your face the universe is giving you signs on you know this is what you should do this is what you need to fulfill in order to feel to feel whole so I feel like you get signs around you um, maybe even offers to um, maybe maybe from these new people that you're meeting here there's offers on the table for you that can <clears throat> really fulfill some of these desires that you have because it really just I feel like it boils down to you and your desires um, this month here um, which we say what are you passionate about what do you need to release in order to fulfill that passion here Gemini all right so let's see let's get some advice for you for the month of May we have the nine of wands we have the lover's card, your energy here. I'm feeling some of you are tired of fighting for love here, okay? Some of you are fight, tired of fighting for love. You just want love. Why does it have to be so hard, okay? That's what I'm feeling. And Spirit is saying stop trying so hard. Stop forcing things to happen, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Some of you need to focus on yourself. Some of you need to focus on your passions, your desires, making money so that you can fulfill you before you can fulfill someone else. So if you are single, that is a message for you. If you're married, this is an energy of trying to take of holding down everything and, and neglecting what lies dormant within within you and spirit is spirit is wanting you to explore that wanting you to explore um different avenues is what i'm hearing um of different avenues of you also i'm feeling an energy of exploring your sexuality here as well some of you are closed off it feels like with the lover's energy here that um it's almost like it's one way or the highway um, some of you may have tried things or maybe there's a lot that you have not tried, but you're just okay with just one way and that does not work. Okay, so I'm feeling like being more open here. What do you desire? What do you need to release? I mean, there's a lot of things you need to let go of and maybe some of some of you may be a bit sexually inhibited due to um, your past or, or um, past lives. This could be something you have carried over because I, I do feel like this energy of you not um, wanting to expose yourself or be vulnerable in that way. Um, I feel like there's other areas where you're like, oh, I'm strong in this area. I got this. I got this together, but maybe lacking in some for some. This is one of the most important um, aspects of a relationship is being able to share that connection with one another. And some of you are a bit closed off to that. So spirit is saying to be open. And this movement now comes in with the root chakra here. That action is to take action on this this month. Maybe it is about you exploring that kundalini energy here. Maybe not even kundalini because some of you are not familiar with that. But those of you that are um, familiar with that, but um, you can that's something that you can you know tap into or explore or research a bit more. But movement. Okay, maybe dance with your partner, dance around the house, or maybe you'll meet someone out while dancing, um, you know, at a nightclub or lounge or, or something. But there needs to be a shift because energy has been stagnant and there needs to be a flow so that things can um, just flow the way that they need to because they haven't been flowing. And maybe this is playing out in all aspects of life where your relationships are not flowing because you're stuck. You're needing to let go of something. Okay. Let's get um, your outcome. What's your final outcome? We have the will of fortune, the hermit, two majors. A lot of changes that are on the horizon for you this month. Seven of Cups. <clears throat> so you're going to be in the center of a lot of things that's going to change. Okay. Your life, your life is going to change when you start implementing some of this, these, this advice here of movement, of discipline, of, of getting motivated. Um, taking some of the steps to get there, fulfill your passions and desires, have a little fun here, Gemini, 
okay some of you have been in a place of just you know, like I said a stagnation here I do feel like there is um, going to be um, opportunities for you to explore different parts of yourself this also also can be different relationships that's going to help you explore different parts of yourself here as with this final outcome is what i'm feeling some of you could also have multiple people that you could be dating as well this month um but i do feel like there's an energy for those of you that hopefully you're not forcing things i do feel like you're single because Either you have too many options, you can't narrow them down, or all of these options are just not what you want. So maybe they're just they're not emotion they're not an emotional connection. It's it's just very surface. So some of you are having a hard time with um, finding someone because it's not a deep rooted connection there. And I feel like you're still searching for that person. You're you're searching for the one, and some of you need to get in tune with yourself to find the one in you in order to be able to find the one in the world. Okay, so that is the final outcome is that there are a lot of options on the table for you, but there is going to be a lot of change. Um, and these options are going to help change you. So allow yourself to be open to explore this month and to let go of things that are no longer serving you. It's time to let release the negativity. And it's also time for you to release whatever you have been holding on to what you thought life was um what you thought you were supposed to be doing because there's just going to be a change there's going to be a different outlook is where i'm here is what i'm hearing here okay so that will of fortune in that hermit card it's very uh, very strong energy here with like a lot of change some of you could be complete in the cycle could be complete in that cycle could include a relationship it could re include a job here and i do feel like you're going to go to a place of just searching you're searching for something but i feel like you're searching within and i feel like people around you are helping you with that okay so that is your reading here gemini thank you all so much for tuning in if any part of this uh reading resonated with you leave me a comment below i would love to hear from you be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell like this that will definitely help me in the algorithm it also lets me know that you guys like the content that i'm putting out and it gets me excited about putting out more content for you okay so i will see you guys very soon enjoy the month of may have a good time soul searching creating um, being in action, dis discovering or exploring your passions and your desires, fulfillments and uh, are being fulfilled and um, experiencing joy. Let go of what no longer serves you. Be open and to um, allow yourself to just be free and have a good time. Okay. All right, guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings to you. Love and light. Peace.